at Sebring, and I had to come by and see an old friend, Andrew Barker, from, well, what I used to know as Jim Yonkin's right-hand guy and the Digiflight autopilot that so many LSA have used. So you got a new role now, you're the president, but more than that, what's all going on for you at True Track? Well, yes, you're correct. Um, just recently, here in the end of last year, bought out Jim at True Track, and have been kind of, that was our succession plan all along, really, was for me to eventually do that and take over there. So we did get that completed, and um, so yeah. The so you're owner. the main man now, you're the owner, you're the president, you, you bet. That's right. chief cook and bottle washer and all those other things, I'm sure. Right. And I get to push a broom. Oh, and <laughs> how long have you been with the company? Uh, I've been with True Track for 14 years. 14 years, okay. Yes, so you probably know a thing or two. I've been around since the beginning, yes sir, that's right. Well I know the Digiflight, but you've got something else here. You said you've got a new autopilot for us. Give us a little bit of the walkthrough, Andrew. That's correct. The, the vision here, actually, you can see it's actually in a Digiflight bezel, because it's the exact same size as ah. the Digiflight was. So it's a drop-in plug and play replacement for the Digiflight. Um, the Vision adds some new safety capability. We've got um, an emergency level button that we've added, so push okay. the button, wings level, zero vertical speed. Uh, we've also added a neat feature, altitude select. So push ALT on the autopilot, dial in the altitude you want, <clears throat> enter that number, and then set your vertical speed. Your VSI. And now you are climbing to this selected altitude at this vertical speed. So the autopilot is going to fly up and level off, and that'll be it. You can also go straight to altitude hold pretty easily. Just push the button, and now you're in altitude hold. Wherever you're at. Then. Wherever you are. Okay. That's so, right. So it'll just, uh, I, I want a whole level right here. Exactly. One button push, and you're there. Exactly. That's right. Now, you're controlling this. You're, you're doing some of the controls right here, but you can also control this through the screen to some extent, the use of the autopilot, I mean. That's right. Absolutely. We've, we've got a really neat integration package here with, as we're showing, an advanced uh, 5000 series EFIS. So... Um, the autopilot not only is fully capable on its own, it also can follow anything you program into the EFIS. So if you want it to follow your heading bugs, your altitude bugs, things like that, or even your pre-programmed flight plan in the GPS, the autopilot so is fully just, capable So you just adjust the, uh, the, the screen, and, exactly and you're working right. with more than one brand, not just the advanced, but you're, correct, you're correct. working with We're some other brands as well? Uh, working with everyone that I know of right now. We've got a couple of new products in development there as well, but as far as I know, every EFIS company out there we are working with. Okay, right. great, great. At least all the majors will say well, that. Well, you've got a long track record as an autopilot company, right. but that's not the only thing you're doing. You've also got this small instrument here that looks like another, you know, all the airplanes in the world that right. have these three that's and an right. eighth inch holes that's in right. them. That's right. What's this guy in? How would you apply this is that? This Gemini. It's, we've got two different versions of this product. The Gemini PFD you see here um, has the airspeed and the altimeter tape built into the side of it. We have an ADI version that's just the, the flight instrument itself, just the attitude mode. Okay, great. So, but the main focus of the company is autopilot. Correct. I mean, that's how I know True Track, that's, and that's, that's how correct. most people That's know. what we're known for. That's and right. you're going to keep a tight focus on that, are you, going Absolutely. forward? Absolutely. Yeah, we're kind of, we kind of dabbled in the EFIS market a little bit here for the last few years. We're, we're stepping away from that a little bit more. We're still going to do, like I said, the backup flight instrument here. We're working on an autopilot integration into that product, but we're not going into the full EFIS market simply because the we are autopilot. That's what we are known for. It's what we do. And we're going to stick with what we do best. Well, I have to admit, you know, I'm an autopilot user now in a light sport aircraft, and as an old ultralight guy, kind of went, come on, you don't need autopilot. Fly the airplane. Enjoy flying the airplane. That's all fine and good until you have an autopilot. And then it's like a garage door opener. <laughs> I don't want to get out of the car and open a garage door. I want to hit a button. Well, I like having this equipment. That's right. And we're talking a fairly modest cost to That's add right. this piece of equipment. Correct. Now, these videos last a long time on the Internet. The prices could change. We'll give you a web address later. Go there, check with them. But today, we're less than $3,000. Correct. Correct. The two-axis system is less than $3,000. And that's for a standalone system again. And, uh, and for those that don't know, tell me what two-axis means. Two-axis. You're going to have a, a roll servo to control the left, right in the aircraft, and a pitch servo for up and down. So, so the only thing you're not doing is yaw, but... Correct. We do actually offer a yaw damper, but most of today's light aircraft don't need a yaw damper. They generally don't even need it, yeah, right? That's so correct. I think that's the majority are, that are using either yours or other products are all two axis. Correct. So that's exactly. for most people, that's yeah, completely that's, that's flying the airplane for you, you and set a heading or a or a or an or a GPS destination right. or something, and it'll fly you there. That's right. So you got, time to, you got time to read the manual on how to use this stuff. So. <laughs> Hopefully. I'm just kidding about that. Pay attention to your flying. <laughs> You told me about a level button. Correct. Hit one button and things kind of get calm, but what's? how do you figure that? Right, well, the AP level feature is, is a, a neat feature that's 
becoming fairly common in the autopilot world today, actually. Uh, it's, you get a little bit disoriented, maybe it's inadvertent IMC, push the AP level button, and it rolls to wings level and zero vertical speed. So if you were a little bit disoriented, if you'd started a turn, you know that death spiral that it does. That's the, where the problem yeah, starts, yeah. That's right. So, um, so the AP level button is a way to just push the button in the autopilot, whatever it was doing, whether it was on or off, it doesn't matter whatever mode it was in. Oh, is that right? No matter where you are, right. one button push. One button push, and it's wings level and zero vertical speed. That's a pretty nice thing. A lot of these uh, autopilots are being used by guys in light sport aircraft. Some are, some aren't. IFR capable. They still like using an autopilot, but you know, you think you can always stay out of a cloud until you find yourself in one that you didn't even see coming. That's right. Okay. That's a really nice feature. One button, and where is that on the device? Uh, it's actually not on the device. Okay. It's a separate button. Okay, you can mount it elsewhere on the, on the panel. One button, like this button down here, sir? Correct. Correct. And one button, right. everything gets calm. Yes, sir. Great. Good stuff. Uh, we tried to ask you a few good questions about it, Andrew, but uh, give us the web address. We'll put it up on the screen sure, sure. and spell it for everybody. But where do we go to find out even more and to contact you? Sure. You can contact us and um, and research our products on our website at truetrackap.com. T-R-U-T-R-A-K-A-P.com. Pretty simple, straightforward. Well, I've had information as we've covered these products all along the years. You can find that. Lots of information about all kinds of light sport aircraft and more at bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us today.